this video, I will do an example in which we will check if two given random variables are independent or not. But uh, let's see what is the example and then I will review the independency and go on from there. Okay, so the question, uh, first we have the experiment. Uh, there are two boxes, box one, box two. Box one contains four black and one white disks and box two contains two black and three white disks. A box randomly is chosen and a disk is drawn from the box, from that chosen box. Now, um, there are two random variables. One, x is the random variable which records the number of the chosen box. So if, if in the first step the box 1 is chosen, it, it gets the value 1. If uh, it, the second box is chosen, then it gets number 2. And what about the second random variable? The second random variable is uh, y is the random variable which gets value 0 if the drawn disk is black and 1 if a white disk is drawn. In other words, y uh, x tells me which box is chosen. y counts basically the number of white disks drawn. Well, we have only one disk drawn, so it can be one white or zero white. Okay, so then the question asks, uh, check if X and Y are independent random variables. So do two random variables are given from an experiment. Now we have to check if that random variable is, uh, if these two random variables are independent random variable or not. Let us let us first quickly recall what was the random variable, random uh, independent random variable. So recall x and y are independent random variables if if for any values of x, x equal to a intersect for y, for any values of y, the, the probability of intersection of these events is equal to product of these probabilities. For all a value of x and b value of y. So that's the definition. So we have to go one by one and find all things and then go from there. So to be able to set up everything correctly, as you can see, this is a process. And to model the probability of everything, we need a tree. So we either go box one, box two, and then here the, the probability of choosing each one is one over two because we chose box uh, uh, the box randomly from two then uh, we get black disk white disk black disk white disk the first uh, box uh, let me see how many uh, first box uh, has four black and one white so the probability that we choose black is four out of five and being white is one over five and the probability of choosing black from the uh, second one there are two blacks out of five and uh, three whites out of five so those are those that's the tree that models our experiment now let's go see how we can check the <clears throat> the independency here uh, first notice that values of x are either one or two and values of y are either um, uh, zero or one 
So we have to find probability of each one for each one of these events. So let's let me just do the table here. Uh, so probability of x being equal to one, probability of x being equal to two, and then here probability of y being equal to zero and probability of y being equal to 1 and then in the middle we will have probability of uh, x is 1 box 1 is chosen and a black um, a black disk is drawn probability of first box chosen uh, sorry the second box chosen and um, uh, black is drawn probability of uh, first one chosen white is dra drawn then probability of X is <clears throat> two the second box is chosen and a white disk is uh, drawn from that one okay <clears throat> Well, we have to find these probabilities by one by one. Probability of box one chosen, we know it is here, and it is one over two. Probability of x, uh, the box two is chosen, it is one over two again. Probability of uh, y is equal to zero. <coughs> Sorry, it means that a black a disk is chosen so we have either this or that so this will give me 1 over 2 times 4 over 5 and this one will give me 1 over 2 times 2 over 5 this number is 4 over 10 and this number is 2 over 10 if we add them we get 6 over how about white one? Well, white one uh, will be either that or that. So it will be 1 over 2 times uh, 1 over 5. This will be 1 over 10. And this one is 1 over 2 times 3 over 5. And this will give me 3 over 10. These two together gives me y equal to 1, which is 4 over 10 and we were expecting these two add, should add up to 1 okay how about this part x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 it means that the first box is chosen and a black one is drawn so that means that basically we are trying to see what's the probability of that outcome which we already found it is 4 over 10 and uh, for the, this one, this means box 2 is chosen and black is drawn from that. Box 2 black is this part and we already have 2 over 10 for that. Box 1 chosen and white 1 is drawn so this is this piece here and that is already we found as 1 over 10 and then 3 over 10 is the last one okay so this is the table now the the point is that x and y are independent random variable if this is a times table meaning what meaning that this number here so let me do this one in red this number here is product of this and that is that true so 1 over 2 times 6 over 10 is well if you do this thing this will get 3 over 10 it is not equal to 4 over 10 so that is enough so the table the table is not a times table meaning that in particular 
probability of x equals to 1 intersect y equals to 0, which is equal to 4 over 10, uh, probability of x equals to 1 and probability of y equals to 0, if you multiply, the number you get is 3 over 10. These two numbers are not equal. That means that x and y are not independent random variables. And this is just one example that's showing you that sometimes checking uh, two random variables are uh, independent or not. You have to do a lot of work, but at the end, what you need to check is that this table is a times table or not. Later on, we will have more techniques, more tools to check if two random variables are or are not independent random variables.